guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of Fruits Basket, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. Yeah, she was gonna go with the back. messy hair, it's so cute. <gasps> Maybe! Oh god. No, relax. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Hi, Hattie. <laughs> I'm not ready for this episode. Like, <clears throat> she's coming in this episode. Not because I I flipped I switched their names by accident and I thought her name was uh the girl who I'm waiting for. She's not coming until like probably the second half. That's Kisa. Kana's coming in this episode. And I was like, no no no, yeah, like the girl's name, her name is the other girl who I'm waiting for. That's Kana. No, that's Kisa. But I'm not ready for this. This is just oh god. I don't even want to talk about this episode. I feel like I am gonna cry. I didn't bring tissues with me, so I'm probably just gonna be like this the whole entire time rewatching this. Oh god, I'm not ready. I just wanna say, yeah, I've watched this episode. <laughs> we watched it on our own. There's no reason for making a reaction right now. No, no, no. <laughs> this fell my heart. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cody. My dog's like, hey, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's like, no, Cody, it's not gonna be fine. Come here, pup. <sighs> I know. Also, when the hell did you pop down, puppy? I didn't even hear you. Quiet as a mouse, damn. Oh, there she is. Even though it's a picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got you. I can't tell you until we get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But oh. mm -hmm. oh, your glass item. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Nope. Let's finally go see him. <laughs> well, <laughs> I 
Okay, well, we can't talk about it right now. Oh, honey. I don't think it's gonna do anything. So in a way, yes. <laughs> I don't think it's that. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it's still the seahorse. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> it becomes spring.
so pretty though. Freaking art. It's okay. No. Oh, he's coming. Curse you being a fucking limo. Yeah, just a regular old guy. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him. Smug. <clears throat> right. He did look like Yuki, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not time. I'm not ready yet. We we know we're near that episode yet. We're still on the beginning of this show, honey bunny. Cause we got a long way to go before we get there. You will. Just not now. I knew I wasn't going to cry my butt off. I knew it. Like, oh my God, just the relationship between him and Connor. It's just so, it was so good. And they were so happy. But no, Akito had to fuck it up and say no and hurt Hattori and blame her and be, became blind and stuff. I'm about to cry again. I got to stop. But, oh my god, to see it, we got to see it in two perspectives. We got to see it in third person when Momiji was telling the story, and then we finally got to see it really kind of through Hitori's POV, which is really nice. Like, my god, just, I can't with this damn show, I love it so much. Oh, everything hurts, like, god, my heart in this episode, like, I wasn't ready for this last week, and even starting the episode, I wasn't ready. And I knew I was going to cry my ass off, and I cried. Just, like, having the part where she is just down, she's broken, and slowly but surely we get to the point where he has to erase her memories. Like, I knew that was going to break me. And I hated that part, even watching it in the, 20, the 2001 version. Like, my God, it just, it hurts. But their story is just so sweet and sad at the same time. And just, 
I, I just remember it like, Toru, see you when you get back. See you when you get Is that gonna be the New Year's episode? Like, see, now, cause see, uh, like, I feel like with this next episode, we know it's gonna be that New Year's Eve episode. And, oh god, that means they're gonna do that episode. They're gonna do that moment. No! Ho oh, ho! No! No! Don't do that moment, please! Please don't! I know! You're, you're probably wondering what it is, but, like, if you've watched the 2001 version, you know what it is already! That moment! I can't talk about that moment, but that moment! Oh god, if they- if they show what those two have to do, like... <laughs> but, like, seriously, it, it's one of my... This episode, like, for Hitori, it's one of my favorite episodes. Like, no matter how many times I've watched it, I've always cried. I've watched this show um, when I had the full set with my cousins. And I was just, like, crying and crying. Because it was the first time my cousins had even seen this show. And they kept looking at me. They were like, why the heck are you crying? I was like, this show was just too emotional, god dang it. I was like, if you do not cry at this show, you have problems. Now, if it is your first time watching this, I understand. My mother has, she's technically kind of seen this show, but she's only really seen parts. She's always asked me about Momiji. Because she's like, okay, is Momiji a girl or a boy? I'm like, Momiji's a boy, but he likes to dress in girls' clothes. And she's like, oh. Okay. Like, weird. Now, like, now she's like, at first when she first thought about anime and stuff, she was like, okay, weird. Now she loves it because she loves the crap out of Death Note and Ish. But I think if I showed her this again and just showed her, I was like, you remember the little boy with the blonde hair and stuff and the boy the girl outfit? That's Momiji. You remember him? <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, oh! <laughs> like, yeah. But, my God, it's just... As I said, it's a very emotional episode, and it's one of many. And we're still only on the first half of this show, but, um... Episode, what, seven? No, this is seven. Episode eight is going to trump this episode. I, I feel it, because... If it is the New Year's episode, if that moment's gonna be in there. They're gonna be, like, I, I can, I'll tell you this, like, I'll tell one part. If it is. It's the part, it's, I'm not gonna say the part, but I'll say, like, one, if it is. It's Toru and Kyo, they're at the store, I believe they're shopping. So, if they show that, then I know it's the New Year's episode. But, uh, uh, like, you just gotta assume it is going to be the next dang episode. So, um... One of my my best girl, who I still love from the beginning of this show, she's also going to come. She came in last week. She'll be in next week's episode. So, and then she'll have her hair down and she'll look so pretty. And then she's going to talk to them. And then, <laughs> but, my God, just, it's going to be a really, really hard episode to watch. So, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 7 of 2019's Fruit Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for episode 8. Bye, guys.